Today we're going to be making lasagna. Okay, again, I'm not really a cooking show, so it's not really about how to do it necessarily. YouTube another video about how to do that. Um, I kind of walk you through how I like to do it, change it, I don't care. I mean, don't comment about, oh, you should do it this way. This is how I like to do it. If you do it just like this, it's going to be delicious. Um, but the main point of all of this is I went to Walmart, okay, and I post this in the video, okay? All the ingredients for this was $12.38, every bit of it. This doesn't count, include salt or I added oregano, Okay, so that's an extra a few cents. Um, but $12.38, and it's, it's, it's huge, uh, the, uh, the amount of food that I made. We're going to eat probably a third of it for dinner tonight. I like to take it to lunch with me. So it's probably four days worth of lunch. So for $12.38, we get dinner tonight, and I get three to, let's say, five days of lunch for $12.38. The point of all of this and all my videos is price reduction on your budget or how to make extra money. So this, you're going to see how quickly this lasagna goes together and just start cooking at home. Don't be afraid of Walmart brand, okay? I bought all Walmart brand for this except the sausage. Do not buy Walmart sausage. It's disgusting. Um, you really won't like it. All right, well, let's get into it. Again, please subscribe, comment. Uh, I keep repeating myself. The whole point of these videos is how to make a ton of extra money. I show you step-by-step -step how to do it, or in this example, how to save money. We, we're making or saving a ton of money by doing this, uh, making lasagna here. Um, again, please comment ideas you have, uh, and, and we'd love to hear from you. I'm going to try to keep this one brief. We're making lasagna today. These are all the ingredients. I'll post it below. Um, $12.38 for lasagna. Um, I like to use all Walmart brand. Okay, so this is ricotta cheese, Walmart. I'm just going to put the whole thing in. Again, I'm not really a cooking show. I'm just trying to demonstrate how cheap we can make food uh, and quickly. So this is cottage cheese again, Walmart. Just put the whole thing in. Put it on pause. These weren't in the ingredients. I just have them in my um, pantry. Oregano and this crap. Okay, once you get it, you just kind of have it. So we're just going to, in the ricotta mixture, put some of this crap in here. Put some of the oregano in here. Okay. We're going to get some cheese. Our cheese again, Walmart. I like the mozzarella. Uh, mix here. Um, I just think it tastes good. I'm going to use 16 ounces of it. I'm not going to put all of this in here yet. Well, for right now. I'm going to leave about that much for now. And I'm going to mix that. About 30 seconds, I'll be back. Okay, we're fully mixed up here. I don't have quite enough color yet on the seasoning, so I'm going to add some more of this crap. I just think it tastes good. And I liked it. I like for me, it's enough when I can see it in the mix. One second. All right, see how we see it in here, okay? So to me, that's enough. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt, okay? We'll mix that up. The only thing I did prior to this video is I pre-cooked um, our pork. I like to use Jimmy Dean sausage. Um, don't use ground beef for this. You're really going to like this better. Again, Walmart brand, okay, I think this was 88 cents. It was on that receipt. I'm just going to dump the whole thing in. There's tricks to get some of that sauce out, but for this video, I don't really care. I'm just going to mix it up just a little bit so we have it combined, okay? And that's it. Our lasagna is ready to go together, so we're going to show you that next. All right, we have our glass pan here, the size this is. We're just going to take a little of our sauce, okay, and we're just trying to get the bottom of the pan kind of wet with the sauce a little bit, okay. This is just helps with sticking, things like that, okay, so that's probably good. We're going to take our noodles again, 
Walmart, okay? I don't cook these at all, I just set them right in. Okay? Here we're gonna use, we're gonna have to break a piece, so it doesn't fit. Okay, on top of this, we're gonna put half of that crap, okay, or a third of it on top of that. So I spread it off camera. I left my stupid tripod at that drywall job I was doing, so that's the reason I don't have that, um, or I couldn't film it. Uh, going on. So we have our sauce noodles here. We're going to do another layer of noodles. And again, I'm not trying to demonstrate how to cook this, or kind of. I'm just trying to show you how quickly you can make it and how cheap it is uh, for the budget. And it just, for budget reduction, um, and it just helps in the budget. So next we're going to do a good layer of probably most of this on top, okay? All right, so I've done that here. I have about this much left. That'll be kind of topping, okay? So next we're going to do a little, another layer of noodles. Okay. Noodles. And I'm a little short here, a half a piece. Look at this. Too bad, huh? Anyway, whatever. So I'm going to put the rest of this crap on top. Okay, so I've added the rest of this on top. What I like to do, some people put noodles on, um, but I, I also like party foul. This video is going to be very interesting. Make you all sick. So I'm going to put the rest of this on top of that. Okay, this is how I like to do it. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of this cheese. We're going to put it on top. Okay, I'm going to spread that out. So we have our cheese here. What I like to also is I'll take this oregano. Okay, I'll sprinkle some of that crap on top. Also going to do a salt layer. Okay. Okay. When I cook this, I like to put tin foil on top. Um, so what I do is I'm going to use this, and I'm going to spray it all over on top. So when I cover it with tin foil, this cheese doesn't stick to the tin foil, and it's a pretty cool trick um, to use it. So again, we're going to use this here. I know this seems weird, right? It's not really the application for it. Hard to see in the camera watching this. So anyway, so now I'm going to cover it with tin foil. All right, we have it covered in tin foil. We're going to set uh, set us up for 350. Uh, we'll bring that to temperature, and I'm going to set it for an hour, uh, and it's basically going to be done. Probably 50 minutes into it, I'm going to peel this aluminum back so the top can kind of crust a little bit, um, if that makes sense. Just to conclude at the end here, I forgot. Uh, we didn't cook our noodles, okay? So this is just water. I'm going to just add it. I know this seems weird, okay? But just add it until we're full with water. Okay? This was only in the oven for like five minutes. But we basically we need that to uh, cook the noodles because we don't want to, a really dry um, lasagna. If you've ever had dry lasagna, it kind of... It's not good on the on the mouth. So I know this looks weird right now because it's kind of drowning a little bit, but we're just looking down here. Okay, I don't see the water coming out yet. All right, here we go. So that's enough water. I know this looks weird. You're gonna see the final product and it'll be great. Bam, look how delicious.